Hello every mega fan, your friend Crab is here and today is my mega birthday and for that special day I will show you guys my hardest and annoying stage from every Mega Man game and you need to remember that this list is 100% opinionated so in any way hope you guys enjoy and let's go When it goes to fireman stage, the hardest and the annoying part about it is the tackle fire section with the lava underneath you. Because while you are dealing with these tackle fires, sometimes it gets annoying and you might fall to your death. This one is an obvious pick. Quickman's stage is hard and precise because of the well-known force beam section. You know it very well, it's the section that has instant disc lasers. I know it's easy by using the time stopper, but of course you will save it for Quickman in any way. So overall, this stage is just a panic. Let's be honest, the stages from Mega Man 3 are pretty easy, but Gemini Man's stage is annoying. The first section of the stage is a bit hard because of the crap amount of enemies and the bottomless pit. And the same goes to the other section of the stage but with big bottomless pit. So this stage is hard for me because it's just annoying for my test. <laughs> This stage is pretty standard I would say, but the problem goes in some points of the stage. Some of these sections of the stage are pretty annoying to deal with, like the last section where you need to turn those switches to make some terrains appear while there are some enemies flying around you and some boulders falling on your head, which makes it really annoying to deal with, and this is considered my annoying stage because the other stages are much easier. Waveman's stage is very decent, but its water bike section is not. I mean, yeah, it's a neat idea, but they added a lot of crab enemies into it. Why? I mean, why adding enemies in a section that you barely see what's coming towards you? I don't know, but it really gets my nerve. Also, this is the same circumstance as Drillman's stage, which is the stage being hard because the others are much easier. Oh nice, it's the first fortress stage on the list, and Mr. X's stage 3 isn't bad from the start, but then it gets annoying with these platforming sections. Because it's not only you jump from platform to platform, but also you deal with fire tellies that drops fire projectiles from above, and there's a lots of bookies that throw lots of projectiles at you as well. So while you are dealing with these platforms, you are gonna have a bad time. Venus stage is good, but what makes it hard is the waterfall section, which requires you to be precise and fast to bust through. Also, the bouncing bubble section is tricky to bust through as well, and these annoying hornet-like enemies that stink your mega butt, they are damn annoying. The flow of this stage is the tire sections. 
I mean, damn, they are annoying. They push you back if you try to tackle them. And doing that while there are spikes uh, is very stressful. And there's flame bar section, which I swear 90% you will get damage if you try to pass through. Hey, look, it's Quick Man Stage Remastered. I think you already got the point. Pokemon's stage is fun, but in hard way. What makes it hard is the bubble section, where you need to be very careful while you are controlling your position or you will get ouched. And the air shooting section is where the difficulty increases. I mean it's fun, but man it's difficult. There are tons of enemies in this section specifically, and the minibus, yeah it's good, but with enemies around it becomes difficult. And I know you guys are gonna say, why didn't you pick Frostman's stage? The reason is, the ice skating section is actually not bad, at least for me, but it only requires focusing and smooth control and nothing else. stage is stupidly irritating, there is a lot of enemies and most of them are in bad placements and that dang spear section is very stupidly annoying and the big telly section is really bad, I mean really bad. You need to be very fast and careful because there is a big possibility that you will get <coughs> So overall the stage itself is very hard. Now before I get to the last official games I have to tell you something first. I didn't get the opportunity to play Mega 9, 10 and 11, but that doesn't mean I can't judge things about these games. I mean, like I can't say that Thunderwall is very bad, because there is actually a usefulness for it in some points. So I can't judge but I need to take things about these games deeply. Anyway, let's continue. The only thing I see hard about Blockman's stage is the section with Yoku blocks. With some tellies around, it becomes more harder that you can easily screw up and fall to your death. And there are some annoying sections as well. Anyway, I see that this stage is the hardest because the other seems easy for my test. Commandoman stage is yeah decent but with the exception of the quicksand section because there is a lot of crabs and enemies. And there are some sections that have these battle moss pits that contain the bob out enemies and the difficulty increase more with the sandstorm section. I mean come on the sandstorm push you back or sometimes front. It makes the platforming very difficult for my test. Overall the stage itself seems very difficult. Also, did I mention that you can't see anything except for enemies while there are some crap going on while the sandstorm is happening? Why this one is here, don't ya? It's simply here because Miniman doesn't like torches because he thinks this stage is torture. The real reason is the firewall section. It's hard and very precise too, you need to be more faster to pass through this section specifically. And it gets worse because there are some enemies you should to deal with to be able to proceed safely. And yeah, that's basically it. is 
pretty obvious, like Quickman and Turbo Man stages, this stage contains this laser sections and it's even much faster, so you would have a panic attack trying to pass through these sections. Warman's stage is pretty cool and intense, but the problem goes to the gimmick of the stage. You see, you should make this big blue fellow to follow you to press the switch button to make you progress. But the problem goes when these sections become insane with lots of things going on with these sections. It becomes harder and harder each time you progress more. The hard part with YD-42 is the sniper target. Man, this gimmick is so stressful especially while you're facing a lot of enemies in the stage. But I gonna say, it's a nice idea but it's hard for me. Drakeman stage is more like a combination of Fireman and Gemini Man stages, so it's basically harder than the other stages. I like the stage, so it's pretty great. But man, the rising lava section is so hard. Okay, that's wrapped up for today's video, guys. Hope you guys have a great day, and see you all in the next time.